I love it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. And today I'm going to show you the very last part of what I kind of think of as any blanket, but my interlock that I've been making and showing off so much. See my beautiful blankie that I love this blanket so much, but now I'm putting on my edging. I'm going to show you how simple this edging is. It looks kind of fancy, but it's not. It is so, so easy. See this little ruffle on the edge? It might look kind of familiar. It might look like just a normal cute curly cue. Now here's my little swatch. I showed you how to make the triangles and fill in your, your triangles here. Make the big ones on the corner. And now we're going to make a nice edge to keep this curling from happening. You can do any edge you want, but this is the easiest one in the world, and I am using a little bit of my Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton. This one is called Nutmeg Nibbles, which is, I think, the cutest name ever. But this one was right up to the gray, so I already used it. I had already used it, so I have some of the dark right here and some of the some of the silver which goes very nicely with this little sample piece so I'm going to show you I worked half of this up already I'm just going to show you a little bit because it's so easy I want to put five double crochets in every stitch there's two three four and five all there is to it. Five double crochets in every stitch will get you this great little ruffle and if you're using super soft yarn it is just a really really nice finishing edge. So again five double crochets in every stitch. It's like making a curly cue or a worry worm where you do multiple stitches in the same stitch just do this a couple more times and get up to the top. And now I'm at the tippy top and I just want to go around the corner into your next stitch. We have so many stitches with these doing five double crochets in each one that it's going to buckle up on itself and make a little ruffle. That's all there is to it. Now if you wanted to you could change this up to a half double crochet or even a single crochet would still make a tiny ruffle. And there's my last one in that stitch. And you just do that all the way around and it helps your corners stay corners and lie flat so they don't curl up like this because that is just a thing even though I used a nice big hook sometimes you still get curling that's why we like to put an edge on it even if you just do something as simple as a single crochet all the way around like this just to get one round all the way around to keep our corners from curling up. Even this will look gorgeous. I like ruffles. I think these ruffles are great. I told you that was going to be easy and fast, didn't I? So now you can finish off this blanket or any blanket. If you're almost done with your, your interlock, you got to finish your corners, finish all these triangles, and then you can put on your ruffle. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.